Hello everyone. NIO Battery Sustainability, sub-brand launch, stock challenges, and marketing strategies pose significant concerns. What worries you about NIO? All right, let's talk about my biggest concern regarding NIO. And it's not a fear, just a bit of apprehension that I want to share with you. This is not financial advice, it's just my thoughts. Okay? And there are a few important things. First of all, some people might be concerned about the batteries, the risk of the entire ecosystem going bad, because NIO owners don't have to worry about it. It's NIO responsibility. And maybe in the future, this could become a significant burden. Yes, but it's not such a huge burden. It's a small one. So what NIO is doing is they're not scrapping entire battery packs that have degraded. They're just removing the faulty modules from the top and replacing them with new ones. So the battery pack stays healthy. They are only removing the modules that have gone bad. And each battery pack has more than 30 modules. So this is a very good way to economically maintain the battery pack throughout its life and extend the life of the battery pack and the ecosystem. This is something I'm not so concerned about, but for people who don't know much about it, it might be a concern. I'm not so worried that the burden of battery swapping in the ecosystem could become a problem because it won't. As soon as it falls below a certain threshold, which is 88%, I think, they perform an operation where they simply replace the module. So I'm not too worried about that. Now there are some things that concern me about the stock, but I'm actually more concerned about these swap stations leases because these swap stations are on leased land. Okay, so whenever NIO installs a swap station, they don't buy the land, they lease it and basically rent that area for five to 10 years. So this is the target, five to 10 years. It is essential that they secure a five to 10 year contract for the land. Otherwise, they won't install any swap station there. However, what we are witnessing since 2018, it's been five years and some swap stations have already come and gone. And what concerns me is when the landowners are not willing to renew the lease contract, NIO has to either use it differently recycle the swap station, or move it, which incurs additional costs. Okay, so this is a minor concern. They have to find a new place for the swap station, or perhaps just document that swap station. For example, if it's a Gen 1 swap station, it might be cheaper, maybe it's better to just document it, and then there's an advantage to including more batteries in building a Gen 3 or Gen 4 swap station incorporating recycled parts from the old Gen 1 swap station. So this is my minor concern, and another concern, which you may share as well, is the launch of a sub-brand. How the public will accept the sub-brand? Will they like it? Will it flop? Will it succeed? I really want it to be a huge hit, but launching an entirely new brand is different from launching a new car. There are many uncertainties around it, and this is one of my minor concerns. I genuinely hope that the branding and everything will be very successful, and I really want NIO to just launch it as ET3 or ES3. Just like BMW has X5, X7, X3, X2, X1. You know, reaching from the cheapest to the most expensive BMW NIO should have done the same. Instead of launching a new brand, they should have just done that so they wouldn't have to educate people about their brand again. So fingers crossed. I genuinely hope that NIO succeeds with the sub-brand, but this is my minor concern. Now let's talk about the stock. There are some things that worry me about the stock. First and foremost, it is essential to mention the float size, which is more than a billion shares. This is an enormous float size. When you have such a large float, it becomes challenging to move the stock price significantly up or down, and it tends to stay relatively stable. The float size is definitely something that concerns me. With so many shares, it becomes difficult to drive the stock price either up or down. Yes, there might be interest, but even then, a considerable amount of interest is needed to propel the stock. I am quite surprised that NIO market cap is lower than X Payne and Li Auto, because NIO is a leader in technology, so logically, NIO should be ahead. Another significant concern is the influence that many NIO owners have on the stock price. The company should try to lower the prices of its cars 
because NIO cars depreciate quite rapidly. I mean, Jenny first asks if you drive a car for a year, there is a 50% depreciation, which is quite high. According to perspectives, depreciation should be lower. NIO has taken depreciation control measures for cars like the ES7, but it is still quite expensive for them. However, I really wish they had kept depreciation more under control. Many people are hesitant to switch to NIO because of the depreciation issue, and those who have switched are quite disappointed because the depreciation seems excessive. Every car depreciates, but for NIO, it seems to be a bit more and without a clear reason. My car is still in good condition, but now the NIO EC6 is probably around 130k RMB while I bought it for 370k RMB, so it has lost around 60% or 70% of its value. It's there, but it's still fine, and I might drive it for another 10 years without any issues. It just doesn't make sense why NIO value has depreciated so much. You would think that NIO would depreciate less because of the battery swap and not having to worry about battery degradation. But no, that's not the case. It's very strange, the story of NIO. I want NIO to provide a bit more depreciation protection for its cars. This will genuinely assist owners and also benefit the brand. My last and biggest concern is related to marketing. You've worked on two movies, Wandering Earth 1 and Wandering Earth 2. NIO is featured in these movies, which is fantastic. However, it doesn't showcase what battery swap is. It's just a cameo. I believe NIO should make a new effort to show battery swap. You have the infrastructure, but nobody knows about it. Only NIO owners are aware, some people know, but the general public is not familiar, and it's not common knowledge. It needs to become common knowledge. You should involve movie stars and ads to showcase battery swap, and in movies too, to display battery swap. You have a perfect opportunity in these movies. I mean, pay them some extra money to show it. NIO has marketed its cars, but not the swap stations. No need to get out of the car in the rain, snow, nothing. There's no message showcasing this convenience. Just, hey, it's fast. Yes, how fast? Yes, in three minutes, just fast. And that's it. So this is also a concern for me, and I'm sure many people share this concern. What are your concerns with NIO? Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing and see you in the next video.